Well, another Monday. <laughs> I'm uh, going to be working on the uh, horse uh, today. I'm going to be working on details that I cover in one of my instructional DVDs on uh, how to create a horse. And uh, I've got to work on the uh, legs of the horse and the hooves and all that stuff and the chest and the shoulders and try to get that to a point where I can go to other parts of the horse. All right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm going to give you a little snippets of what I've, I'm doing. I'm not going to show you the whole process, but uh, I've got my reference for the uh, chest of the horse here. Uh, I got it from an old, old uh, anatomy book that I don't, I tore up and, and Xeroxed each uh, page. Uh, so I'd always have it on my computer and I don't have it any longer anyway I'm gonna I don't know if I can raise this any higher I may have to bring him up and I'll put a piece of wood underneath him to do that well I put a big piece block of wood underneath the uh, base so I could raise this up to where it's more eye level for me and that just uh, helps me to view it a little bit better. When your sculpting stand doesn't go any higher, you have to figure out how to make you higher. <laughs> anyway. The leg had been damaged a lot sitting in my studio for so long. So I'm having to do a lot of repairing here. It's a lot harder now that everything's on it. <laughs> but I'll manage. All right, I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. I'll make this a two-day video. It's taking longer than I thought to do all this stuff here. It means cutting clay off that's uh, too stiff and it's gotten damaged and happened to put new clay back on. 
And so, like I said, I'll pick this up tomorrow. <laughs> I have to move the uh, camera back. I get so close to it, the subject, that I can actually turn the horse and the horse's nose hits the camera. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna work on the uh, left front leg. Again, I uh, this is the second day I've been doing this and I gotta adjust my lights so I can see what the heck I'm doing. There we go. <sighs> All right, I'll come back as I get uh, further along. I'm redoing the uh, knee joint of the horse because the uh, clay was so stiff and I couldn't work with it. So I had to uh, redo the knee joints on both legs. Now the leg inside or underneath here is not going to be detailed. There's just no way of doing it. I'll detail as much on the front part of the leg, but the back part I can't do it because now it's all hidden by the blanket. And I have to fill that in and make it smooth so they can cast it easily. And so that's what I'm going to do is fill in it's hard to reach in there because you're going to be banging stuff that you already created. And so I'm just reaching back behind and feeling and filling it in so there's no deep undercuts. It's a magic trick. Basically, that's all sculpting is, is a, a form of magic. You're creating something that isn't and make it is. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's a beautiful day today compared to yesterday. Almost 60 degrees outside, which is unbelievable. But it is that time of year here in Montana when it starts getting thawed out. In fact, uh, there was a mountain man. Can't think of the name of the guy that played the character anymore. It's just too old. But uh, in the movie Jeremiah Johnson, he says, March is a muddy period down in the, in the valley for the farmers. They love it. And uh, that's what it is. It's a warm part of the year here near the mountains in Montana. Got to emphasize the edge of that blanket again with my uh, brush. giving the uh, horse furry fetlocks. It was a uh, characteristic of a lot of the early 
Western horses. I don't want to overdo it. There's a fine balance between overdoing something and making it look right. Taking some lighter fluid on the uh, legs to get some of the roughness out. For those who are watching my videos for the first time and don't know what this does, it melts the clay a little bit. There's a property of the uh, plastiline clay that reacts to uh, butane lighter fluid kind of stuff you use put in your lighters and uh, it reacts to or the clay reacts to the, the lighter fluid and it, it literally softens it and uh, if you have a bunch of rough areas it will smooth them out Alright, that's going to be it for today. I'll pick this up next time. I'm happy the way the legs are turning out. And uh, it worried me because they were going to be hard to access, but it worked out fine. The Warriors, farewell. This is it where it is today can't wait to do the mane on the horse and get his head and neck refined a little bit more all right good night everybody see you next time give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time